No. to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. I do hope you're planning on finishing by Victory Day. It can't be this hard to finish up a day's work, can it? What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. Yes. One could read that without a ripple in one's teacup. <laughs> well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Esther wonders what life's like outside the tube. Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. And that would break it for everybody. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Your joy, Pro. I mean, you too. You're not coming back, are you, Pro? But where did she go?
He seemed to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. Well, you may have scurvy. And congratulations. So, English enemies. And like all traditional English enemies, we beat it before. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we'll beat it again. As you know, England has traditionally ruled the seas. Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the way. Britain never, 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 never. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Uh, Christ! I thought those bastards chased me! They were bridges, weren't they? And tunnels! I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. And then there'll be cake and prizes for all winners and everyone's a winner. No. And Just rest in the feet. So don't miss it or you're a rotten egg. <laughs> but seriously. to him, or rather, who? going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I I promise. But, but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other.
come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. We've come. <laughs> Keep calm. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. to go to just yet. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. This might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Joy out here. The toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. remember how to make a lockpick. Nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? Ho <laughs> ho You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, 
What are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk. And the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No. I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have install most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? Well, I ought to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? Of course, Percy never cared much that he didn't fit in. I'm not sure he even knew what fitting in was. Oh, God. That smells awful in there. A lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might throw up. Well, that's a convenient story, isn't it? The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. I'll find a cleverer way in. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. I will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Wallet. 
Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome warmly Arthur, King of the Parade! Let's see if he can keep blood off that lovely suit, especially his. <laughs> Original! Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight! To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line! Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good! Nobody remembers what they read! I don't want to fight you! The feeling is muted! There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now let's choose your weapons! One! It's quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, chill guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. It's time! Twice jump yeah. up. You've dropped his guard. Oh, B-Mate! Roll, B-Mate! Twice jump up. You've dropped his guard. got a sinking feeling. Oh god, this on. Oh god. Sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. I better 
figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. <coughs> Please just lie down. Just relax. Don't question it. for knocking down my blocks in nursery. I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. All right, now I just need that power cell. Pure resublimated dimotoly. The fuel of the future now. <gasps> if I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Struggle. He's got blood on his hands. It's not personal. to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Help! Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here! Over here! Do you want to get thrashed? Come in! Come in! God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous! Your funeral? so angry. Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death, you better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. 
My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Well, they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! It could be worse, I think. Sometimes you just have to eat rotten things. That's life, isn't it? We're all rotting, like the food. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. The moving finger writes and having writ. Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. He never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Maybe we couldn't have fought back, but why did we help them? I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. Probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. What am I supposed to do? I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Bloody garden district. I don't know how you feel. It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, isn't it? Rose of Gilead. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. Berries. They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. Blood 
Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <sighs> I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. Now I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. How are you holding up? Stay where I can see you. No one likes a lurker. This too shall pass, I suppose. I, I try not to talk about the kids. We are Give the them. hollow men. But sometimes I can't help it. Men. And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Still, the tracks go from... I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the Garden District at all. She could have just popped over the bridge from the station at Apple Hall. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your ball bags, I'll piss in your corpses! We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the V-meat! Jesus Christ! I... Please don't make a fuss. Sorry to bother. How do I get down to the tracks? Don't think I won't sniff you out. <laughs> 
We should have brought another bomb. We don't have another bomb, do we? There has to be a way in. He gets in. It's better this way. So I get down. Right. Huh. Now I just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. Too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! He can't take care of himself! Bloody Bobby. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. I don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. Bloody hell, there's been some sort of cave-in. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, look, oh, shit. it's a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, 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 can we pound him now? Yep. See the violence inherent in the system. Ah! 
bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie! I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! I... No! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You go mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. What a Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... It's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant! There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse! I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out, you know? That's Margaret. From school. Margaret... What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it. You two bloody listen to me, alright? One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ saying there's an elephant broke loose. Now, elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time. 
and they get along just fine with their man who writes them. He's called a mahook. But when they're in heat, you have to chain them up. And this one, they got loose. And his mahook went chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts eating peaches. And the coolie tries to stop him. And the elephant oh, steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud and skin comes off his back like he was barely with grief. So the sea boys come running up to this general. Only then, he was a major, he said, You must come shoot this elephant. So, he takes his hunting rifle. It's a fire rifle. You can't go on it. They said I could. Well, of course the Germans said you could go on it. I'm saying you can't. I've never been on a battleship. But that's not the point. We hate the Germans, and that battleship is part of the reason the Germans are our lords and masters right now. Do you remember when they came over in all the little boats? Do you mean in 1942 or in 1943? Do you want people to spit on Mum when she goes to the market? She doesn't go to the market since 1945. Well, look, this is just one of those things. I can't explain every single detail of everything to you. Are you mad at me? D I'm not. You're not? I mean, yes, I am. I am mad. I was mad, but now I'm not. Look, please don't go on the Bismarck. It will get you into trouble, which means I'll then be in trouble. All right. You won't go? I couldn't go without you anyway. For once, that's a relief. No fucking civilians! Yeah. I have to kill you now. Christ. I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while, I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll come down. Um, I think I might be... Duck, actually. Do you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. 
there's a hole in the fence inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key and cut the power. Then sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The general keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the general's office? Any way you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Alright, Ollie. Let's see that map you made. Oh. Ollie's sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. Ollie said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate. I found a loose bullet down in the mud the other day. Do you think it could still be good? Oh, oh sorry to bother. Oh. No plan survives contact with the enemy, you know? Ah! Trout bastard! Oh. Oh, please lock. just lie down. For England! Ah! And St. George! Ah. Grenade! Oh. It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong They're about something like that. Again. Can't we just agree to disagree? This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. All right, here goes. to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier-mâché. I'm just saying, we might need to recruit. This won't hurt a bit. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie will be King Arthur with a Gentleman. Starring oh, the hilarious this won't take a minute. and Arthur Askey. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. Day for it, sir. 
Wrong with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. All are invited. Don't worry. In Happy oh. Hamlet, oh. no one It's better dying. this way. Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. Wanting to throw up, but I never quite can. But we're supposed to tell. But we're supposed to tell. We're supposed to tell the scouts about the plants across the river. Actually, you're supposed to tell the scouts. Well, I nod sagely. I can't hear you. You're not sick, Percy. Just go and tell the scouts about the plants. I can't talk to them. Do you think they're going to be nasty to you without me? No. Well, I'm vomiting. I want to make my brother some tea. Are you gonna just not show up? Alright, look. I'll phone them. Just remember to turn the flame off this time. Alright? Attention all personnel. Some of the latrines are in the process of being moved from the old holes to brand new holes. If you see a latrine somewhere you're not used to, Please make sure it is actually over a hole, for reasons I shouldn't have to explain. Attention all personnel. Patrols should be particularly careful in the forest. It's not you, it's me. Plague victims have been spotted there recently. It's better this way. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie will be King Arthur with a gentleman. Starring the hilarious oh, Ronald Sharma. Just relax. Don't oh, question Don't it. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. <laughs> nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them. Oh, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. Bing's office. This bookcase, isn't there? The I feel positive there's something that could open this. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. Piano music, eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. Well, I like clever clogs. 
it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. Attention all personnel, to allow time to repair the mannequin, bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning. Here goes. Attention. Oh, for One fuck's sake, Ollie. He knew it was a lie, didn't he? I bet he bloody knew. How do I get out of here? I'm not going to be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general secret hatch. That's my way out. Paper and fucking glue. Right. Now if I can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie, that won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? Just lie down. You know what to do. Hop out, yawn, stretch, and achieve it. Well, the game's on. Come on up! That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew! How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier mache. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and Who the others. Rolls, it up? I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh my god. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. 
If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home. How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well then. See you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard 
your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. She's not watching and judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odour of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Serious about taking my joy, weren't they? <laughs> well, that feels entirely too good. Head into the theatre and take a seat. Excellent! Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin au courant. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or... I don't know. Watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave 
like a proper, decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like how you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two. Should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? That's right, player one. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Player two. Everything does not actually have eyes. Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, the eyes. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? 
are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington World. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like I do. B. The eyes! The eyes! May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. May I recommend you sojourn here until morning, sir? They have recently instituted a curfew in Wellington Wells. Mustn't be out at night. Just wait until the dawn spreads her rosy fingers and then head on into the village. No, player one. Lovely day for it. Are you new around here? Or did I just forget? It happens, you know. All right. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? How have you been? See you at the pub. So from here, I've got to get to St George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? <sighs> Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <sighs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, I haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough... stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. 
I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologizing grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny! You don't seem all high and mighty! Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. He did it. I know he did. <laughs> now, now, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St. George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St. George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. All right, I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. Or so right I need home. to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Uh, hello. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I'll go tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at the Reform Club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's gonna get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you'll never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not?
couldn't be better, thanks. All right. Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep, and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. Where do you think you're going? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! Lovely day for it. Righto. Alphabetical? Maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. Oh, lovely. I'm famous. get to Lud's home. Aren't they renovating it? What was all that about Bobby Hick and both of them? He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's home. Maybe I could borrow it. Barely looks lifted. The Reform Club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's Hole. I wonder if I can borrow his paper. I have the oddest feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. No. <sighs> Except for the night, we would never know the stars. They fixed up Lud's home. Um, hello? Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Um, I don't exactly have uh, an invitation as such. Just, uh... Healthy curiosity. It's a private club. You must have an invitation. <gasps> Please don't make a fuss.
Lovely weather. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Why don't you go away? Oh, I look like an utter perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh, yes. That's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. Lovely day for it. Very well crafted, I must say. from holiday soon. In Rome, I suppose. Oof. They probably do do this in Rome, don't they? Right. I can take his stuff and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? I've been a very bad boy. Very, very bad. Increase the voltage. Excuse me. I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, penchant? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, right as rain. Lud's hole. That's where they quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. He said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run, ah! if you don't want to end up like him. Here. Oh, leave us alone! Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! 
Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor is going to kill us. She's going to tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her, and well, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's going to send us both away. Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. Would you like this? Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh, you've saved us. But go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. We speak Latin. Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always. You always. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each. You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage and impedimentis to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. Make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... When you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German! You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German! It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or pupas, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right, maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motoline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here.
right that she's as brilliant as Sally and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? It was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Motilene, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. That was a time when we were rather clever. When did it all become such a mess? Cells. I could fill them up too. Do you know the general, Sally? That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. When did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? What you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes, uh, a portal of some kind? Um, hmm, the, uh, the going in the hole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St. George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I've marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. I hope this isn't too loud. should have said, how have you been all these years, Sally? You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again, instead of all those dreadful things. <sighs> do I really have to extract three bits? Wouldn't two do? Oh dear. Take all this with you. Arthur, where are you? You are too old to go to Germany, are you not? Arthur. I'm not going to put one more child on that train. Oh, 
God. I don't think I like this device at all. I wonder if a bee ever thinks he knows better than the hive. Oh dear. You can't have it. It's precious to me. Are we going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But we're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. Hell, I don't think I had a terribly keen grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten. I hope she's all right. Be all right Maybe I should go on. check. You sit down and have a cup of tea. And I'll just go and make up your bed. You all right? Come out and take your medicine. heaven's sake, she's gone! I can't believe she left without helping me. Ugh. Well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. Good Christ, they want to electrify the masks. Are we all supposed to carry power cells in our hats? Are they completely insane? Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the Garden District. Toodaloo. Well, there it goes. Righto. I can't believe I went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see Sally. Well, Arthur, maybe you shouldn't have been such an ass. Maybe you should have said, Oh, yes, Sally, do talk to your friend the General for me. What a kind thing to offer. Why does God punish me for all my mistakes and let everyone else run free? I hope I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links, then? <laughs> Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. I'll need to be dressed like a worker in there. 
If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. Oi, you! Right! I'm done fooling around! Go oh. oh. down, you damn black dog! I'll electrify news! That's it! Keep running! Boom! Have it! I won't have it! says, step on one lit platform. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Simon says, step on two platforms. say Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's the joy. You can never have to... Oh, it's all getting mushy again. Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. to the parade. There's just one more bridge and then I'm in the parade. Got one more bridge after that and I'm finally out of Wellington Wells. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Try not to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. 
Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Uh, I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy. But I am... always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You are always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really, really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just go. Oh, I meant to say, cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us class. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. Getting old. I don't think I've been in Hayworth Lab since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but but uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? Have you got your press pass? I, uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Oak Corral. See if she's got a spare press pass. My old office. That was fun, being a reporter. The receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? We just have to have faith. That's all. She'll come back 
with the coffee. Uh, with the excuse me, the, the door upstairs is locked. Just like my sisters, always pester, pester, pester. A lady can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. Pardon me, pardon me. Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? How rude! Oh, Can't you, you see party. I'm working? Well, I could get a cup of coffee. All right, right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Put up a sneaking no suspicion that they want me. some coffee. I'll murder someone. I swear I will. If I don't get some coffee soon, I'm going to shoot me. somebody. Pardon me. Do you, do you think someone could let me upstairs? Unless it's the second coming, I, I can't stand be bothered. I must have coffee. Uh. Excuse me, the, the door upstairs is locked. Not now, I'm running just to keep up. Hmm. I bet if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. See if I can get Mrs. Onofant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Arthur. Arthur Hastings. The whole place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? Must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. If that were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. I'm not getting in that way. <laughs> Just here to read the meter. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. I swear by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm going to have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Oh! What on earth? Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place.
I hear she recover in a few days. Sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Downer! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Well, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. The locks looking for a permanent solution. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Solution to what? I guess I'd better go see what's going on on this Motilene regulation unit. Maybe the answer's there. Look what I... <laughs> what have we come to? is a municipal work site, and you're not a municipal worker, are you? Huh? So clear off. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad! Oh, this seems fairly obvious. Don't you just turn that? Don't! 
Never heard it do that before. Oh dear. I, uh, there's a tool I need. I'll, I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? Has anybody got a pipe wrench? Ow. I should really have paid more attention when Dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. On the other hand, it looks like I can get down now. Happiness is a choice. Power's out on the elevator. I'll need to find a way to turn the juice back on. And yet another note about bad joy. Jammer was really onto something, wasn't she? Executed. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit before- <laughs> Fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Accidentally poisoned the muffins. Even on joy, people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the joy. I've always wanted to drive one of those things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that? going bad, that'll drive the entire town crazy. They're adjusting the formula. New materials. Well, that sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. I 
have a feeling there's not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. It is becoming rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. Sorry, can't stay. So there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm going to have to turn on some power switches. Is that how the bobbies get around? I wonder if they ever get stuck. They could get awkward. to power the grid. So electricity damages jubilators. What can I sap it with? I sort of think this place is about to explode. There's the power room. How am I supposed to get across? Percy, what are you doing? I'm swimming. Oh, good Christ, where are your clothes? Percy, where are your clothes? I'm not getting past those jets without getting poached like an egg. Can I turn them off? One, two more, I think. Two 
One more. Bloody door now, I hope. You're gonna run me down with that thing! Not if you run fast enough, you rotten fool! this berserk tea kettle. when you did. I didn't realise it was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there, tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra! This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. Busy. What is it? Gemma's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a pop. Oh my goodness. Why? She was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc, he's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, See if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great! I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go.
God. It's all boarded up. What happened? I'll have to break in somehow. Maybe I can find some answers inside. If I can get in somehow. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Someone's ransacked the place. I hope Mrs. Oliphant got away. You mustn't go around publishing the truth. What will people think? in some sort of code. Hmm. I don't think that's Gemma's handwriting. So this is where she published the unpleasant issue. He does love to be in the papers, they're right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Is he breathing? Well, he made a sort of sigh. And then some gurgling noises? He came right at me. Just make sure you leave that electro baton near him. In case he turns out to be important. I've learned so much from you over the years. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it? Right as rain, right as rain. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Best come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? the workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the bobbies did. You are Happiness not is authorized. A choice. Please clear the area immediately. Mind the closing doors, please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. 
Look, so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Just graph the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. Oh, and I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. Why aren't you happy? Ah. Uh. No. Look, I don't even want to be here. Sorry to bother. Safety. I don't think I want to try and cross that steam. I hope I can turn it off somewhere. Chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam, if that is indeed what I did. Sneak past these gents without a fuss.
I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. Remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally? And it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Christ, Sally was in on the scheme. No. Wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Veloc's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. <coughs> 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 You shall drink the wine of God's wrath poured into the cup of his anger. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words. For the wrath of God comes upon the sons of discipline. Can't we work something out? No? Slide down. F 
phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? Is that an original? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> God. Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Now, this is the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted. This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. He's just the sort who would. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Sally's ridiculous cod liver oil had better be down here, or I shall be cross. Listen. Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Oh. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. <gasps> oh, that smells awful. This is where they first the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out, if I don't mind poisoning the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? 
Uh, a hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you and... They lived happily ever after. No! A girl like that shipwrecks and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. What the devil do you mean, coming up here dressed like that? Clear off before I call the rest of the lads. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. Bit late to work, are we? My trains Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... I... I, I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? You would talk to me. When you're gone. Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Ah, the 
parade, just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. The Fashion Institute. I bought some trousers there. Bloody expensive too. If I remember correctly, they've got a hatch in their basement. Good thing Sally taught me to be nosy. Who knows when I might need to get to a bed. I should see if I can get down there. They seem to be a lot more serious about the plague here. It must be spreading fast. Not a pleasant thought. Well, that feels entirely too good. I'm glad I'm not a Bobby, if that's how well they're taking care of Bobby Poppers these days. Marvellous! Did you see the Pipers match? Smashing! I'm gonna have to rewrite the entire bloody report. Can you believe that? All right. I don't think I can do this as long as these poppers are popping out constables. sloppy of them to leave all the works exposed like that. What if someone were to have an unfortunate accident and break things? Police force seems to be out in. Uh, Lovely day for it. I better find a way to turn these off if I want to get through that gate uncooked. Popper looks like it's rather well maintained. I wonder if I can change that. That's a bit naughty of me, wasn't it? Oh, oh, look, it's not you, it's me. It's nothing personal. Oh dear, I don't think that's working anymore. Oh dear, that's not working anymore either. Things have come to a pass indeed. There. Oh, that bother. I don't even have plague. I don't see why you can't unquarantine the pie shop. Cook is beside herself. My dear lady, if we lift the quarantine gate on the pie shop for you, we'd have to lift every quarantine gate for anybody. No, you wouldn't. I'm not anybody, am I? You perish the thought, madam. You can just do it for me. I'm afraid we actually can't. Our quarantine control grid needs uh, a framistat. We've ordered a new one from the Department of Scientific Research. I'm throwing a dinner on Friday. I expect you to get your frammy whatever and unquarantine the pie shop, or I shall have to explain to the Minister of Health why we have no pie.
ever wondered what life will be like 20 years into the future? That would be the year 1984. Yes, it sounds like a very long way away, doesn't it? But 1984 is closer than you think. At the Wellington World's House of the Future, you can imagine yourself in 1984 when machines will clean your house while you nap. Uh, that'll make the wife happy, won't it? And will also have fields that replace food that you'll never have to eat again. Now, if I were to disable the quarantine gates, where would I be? If it's not down here, I bet it's in that office. Palm Reeves, there's the vulcanizer gas stop. We need to adjust the flow mechanism. It's still wasting a lot of motor lead. Not working. I better go downstairs and see what's wrong with it. Locked, of course. Can't have the staff running in and out asking questions, can we? I'm solving a very difficult equation. Leave me in peace. Apparently Confucius was wrong. The way in is not by the door. Someone please send Hargreaves up here. I can't be down on the floor all the time chasing people. How do I get up in there? That glass looks fairly solid. I need a gun to break it. Or a cannon. There does seem to be a rather large cannon here. I'd have to rotate it, but it is on a circular platform. Has anyone seen Hargreaves lately in the past week or so? An electrowave stimulator. What does it do? I suppose it stimulates electrowaves. That doesn't sound right. Seems to be missing a battery. This seems to turn mottling crystals into gas. A lot of gas would charge up that cannon. I'll probably need some sort of valve handle to unblock this, I think. This seems to be in operating condition. It's a prototype for some sort of torch you use in the kitchen. Doesn't seem to have all its bits. I wonder if I could find something around here. These machines don't seem to be in tip-top condition, do they? can do with the console now. We do have someone named Hargreaves. I haven't completely lost my mind, have I? Ha ha! Very clever, pointing the pneumatic cannon right at my office. Now that we've all had our little laugh, could you please point it at the window or something?
I suppose you're who I have to thank for the hole in my wall. Oh, did knock? Don't be silly. Do you know how long I've been asking them to fix the hot flash? I can't even remember. Oh, uh, the power cell was missing. Oh, for heaven's sake. They said they had to wait for a part. Look, without help or even a manual, you fixed three machines and triggered a chain reaction. Yes. Well, sorry about that. I need a chap who can figure things out. Would you like a job? Uh, oh, uh, I'm afraid I'm sort of trying to get out of town. Why? This is the best of all possible worlds. Nothing gets done, but everyone's happy. You seem sort of exasperated, actually. Well, don't tell anyone, all right? How are you getting past the quarantine gates without a framistat? I was hoping to get one from, uh, here. They've been pestering me for one. Tell you what, I'll give you one, and when you're done with it, Give it to them from me. Oh, that's very kind of you. I will. Here, look around. If there's something else you can use, take it. Oh dear. I've forgotten about the headmistresses. How they expect me to visit the shops on the other side with all these bankers and things. I almost feel unwanted. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. There must be some way to put her to bed for a bit. Otherwise, how do they get close to her for maintenance and such? if she's powered from in here. Ha! Huh. Now headmistress can't scold me for breaking quarantine. Should be fun. A building full of fanatics who can smell me. Naked among wolves. Attention all attendees. The keynote dissection and luncheon will be starting in the operating theatre in five minutes. How do I get to the elevator? I don't think I want to mingle with this crowd. Dr. Defoe, please report to the quarantine grid room. Dr. Defoe, the quarantine grid room. Thank you. All nurses are reminded to file their mandatory volunteer schedule by Thursday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Congratulate Nurse Elizabeth Neal for winning the Waste Not Want Not Award for her adaptation of a crash cart into a file for frequently used forms. the dissection luncheon, lunch will not be served in the cafeteria today. If you are not attending the luncheon, please make other arrangements. I want deterioration in the Baroque area. 
peculiar. <laughs> Normally lesions in the Brokus area would result in aphasia. But we're not dealing with aphasia. doing this to each other. Dr. Defoe, please report to the quarantine grid room. Dr. Defoe, the quarantine grid room. Thank you. Nurses are reminded to file their mandatory volunteer schedule by Thursday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Now, Dr. Hardy, why do you keep your key cards? Please congratulate Nurse Elizabeth Neal. Ah, the key card. Off the quarantine I go. Yay! for her adaptation of a crash cart into a file for frequently used forms. Am I being stupid, Arthur? Well, what's wrong with this move? Checkmate. Inform moves. How? I move my bishop here, so you just have to go there. So, I put my rock here, so you could only move there. Or there? But then I put my other rook here. Do you, do you see? What you want to do is go here. Why are you knocking your king down? Because I'm not playing you anymore. You're playing you. I can't hear you. Let's make some tea. Do you want to play again? Maybe in a little while. Oh, Arthur. Yes, Percy? What's a sore loser? Oh. Touche. All right, set them up. We'll go again. I like playing chess with you, Arthur. That's the quarantine grid. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Attention all staff. A downer with plague has escaped from the test labs. Please consider him armed and dangerous. Be on your guard.
terribly effective at all, is it? Don't tell anyone I said that. Well, wasn't that fun? I think we made all the necessary observations. I'll unlock the chair. Please take the corridor on the left back to your cell. Odd. The button's on the prints again. No, 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 no. You have to reroute the power for some reason. Try it now. Nada. Oh, bother. Give me a moment. Try it now. It's making noises. That's promising. I'm doing this for you, Percy. I'd never do it just for me. Hello, that's my old office. I bet Clive got my window, didn't he? The little shit. Sorry, sir. The broadcast tower has been quarantined. Well, I think if you examine the gate, you'll see that it's been unquarantined. Oh, so it has. Well then, I'll just bugger off, shan't I? <laughs> Enjoy your visit. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is it took a V meat sandwich off a downer this morning. How on earth did a downer get V meat? I haven't the foggiest. But I'll tell you, it was the best meal I've had in days. I'd imagine. Sandwich wasn't bad either. Sandwich wasn't bad either. <laughs> You're a witch. I think the rail tracks are just past those revolvers. The whole floor's collapsed. So much for the tracks. I don't have to go up there. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to go up there, aren't I? Why does God hate me? Breathing those fumes. Looks like I wasn't the first one here. Oh shit. Prudence. and get back to the tracks through the mines somehow. Hello. Do I know you? The, uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dotty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... the machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. We start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, uh, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. Well, I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, uh, all right. You'll need my keycard. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous! Watch out for scurvy! Uncle Jack says. Use this excavator thing to cross that abyss. I wonder how you turn it on. Ah! That's against... That's against the rules. Oh, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on the camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens.
Oh, come on! Seriously? Couldn't you just wait till I'm gone? Are you really doing this to find Percy? I mean, where would you even look for him? Is he even alive? Is he in Russia? How would you even get to Germany? You know where I'm going in holidays? Spain. I've not been to Spain, except Gibraltar once. Next holiday, maybe after Christmas. Wouldn't want to miss Christmas. Oh, no. With the turkeys and the roast beef. <laughs> and the fruitcake and the wassail. Oh, oh wassail. Oh, everything oh, goes getting mushy wassail. again. Do you think we'll ever get out of here? Oh, there you go, spoiling it. And we was having so much fun. Sorry, I can only suspend my disbelief so long. A word to the wise, Constable. Sincerity is the most important thing. The better you can fake that, the better you'll do in life. You're doing this because you don't have a strong enough sense of self-preservation to leave Wellington Wells on your own account, aren't you? You need the guilt. Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. Huh. Of course. Damn thing so itchy. It's times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I know oh, you. Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to You must get back on the train. The windows of the train. Where did you go? Arthur! You must get back on board! No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. No! Mr. No, Percival Hastings. No, is that me? Please, Percy? No, People no, call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you are a bit dim and you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right, well, um, Mum no. thinks I can't... Mum no. thinks I can't... No, no, Mum no. thinks no, I can't no, take no, care please. of myself. Arthur. But I can. To tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Uh, can I go? This is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not going to put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along then. Sir, are you all right? I'll best be on my way. Something terrible. Oh, we have all done things we regret, sir. Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I 
told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold our passports and then I walked off the train with his passport. He didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you... You must treat it as a gift. To know who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. <laughs> that is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Add three cc's. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. Just a minute. I'm out of Blackberry Spud. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry. I don't have any now. What the hell was that? He's not gonna go away until I answer the goddamn door, is he? Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it! You're lying! It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies! Ah! Where is it? 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 Where are you? It's up there, isn't it? I need my emergency kit. This better work on Spud. No. She broke my brain. It's not... Possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat, isn't it? I'm hallucinating, and it's a rat, and it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get Spud out of here. You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? I hope Gwen's all right. Fuck in a bucket. I shouldn't have left it alone. I better turn down the heat. 
Brilliant. They all want Blackberry Joy. Spud couldn't have shown up at a worse time. Who is it now? Hello in there! Is there anyone in there? Would you come to the front door, please? It's okay. The bad man is asleep. He won't bother you anymore. Oh, you've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. Whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you... Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, how stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a bother. I, I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh... I'll be on my way, Mom. Cheery bye. I've forgotten how bright Joy is. <laughs> oh. I guess if you can wait all day in that stink, I can stand it while I clean you up. Can't be serious. Wendy, mate. Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to to drop by the um the the, the old neighbourhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of um. Cooking? No. I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. As soon as it's ready. Promise. If only they were all like oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. No, 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 no. No, they can't all be broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Down. I can't think when she's crying like that. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out, baby is gonna starve to death. Is Mummy the worst Mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lionel. Wait, Lionel might have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. <coughs> Listen, darling. Mummy's gonna go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till Mummy comes back. Okay? Please? Mummy will be back with supper as soon as she possibly can. Please have tin milk, Lionel. Watch Please. your fancy. Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a monk girl like yourself. 
Everything I've got's as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh, the, 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 the trade from over the bridge. Well, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there there's rumours of cannibals, devil worshippers, cue jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on eel pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. Uncle Jack Records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack Records. Not that Lionel knows that, thank God. Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district dry. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Hackney. They get so resentful. One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Poor Mrs. Marley. I warned her against taking vanilla and chocolate together. You can lose your balance. Not a very well made safe, is it? Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? Oh, you can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle That's Jack. the spirit. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. I wonder if Lionel can make some sort of automatic baby feeder for me. Then I wouldn't have to run back home as often to feed Gwen. <sighs> Sounds a bit hard-hearted, doesn't it, Gwen? But Mummy's trying to save our lives. Where 
did you bring us here? I wanted you all to see what bravery looks like. We have to take them home. At least they tried to destroy the birth records. At least they tried. And the rest of the town hanged them on this bridge. Are they just going to leave those people hanging there till they rot? It's medieval. I wish I was half as brave as Tommy Cramner and the Lushfords. Lovely day for it. Sally Boyle! I hope you found your Uncle Jack record. Me borrower has been pestering me. I have indeed. You're a brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Gwen's got something to eat, at least. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Who's at the bloody door now? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for them. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Harm, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Cashier is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Uh, Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps, and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Gee. 
Jesus. It smells like burning. <gasps> Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ almighty. Okay. First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Oh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. Young Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They not... At home. Let me take you to the station. For a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. Oh, what fun. Oh, baby, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. I can't tell if Mrs. Witherington is preggers or just fat. Don't use that word, it's horrible. Her husband is a prisoner of war. But she goes everywhere with Lieutenant Olbrecht. Maybe she's just eating extra rations. Anyway, we'll know in a few months, won't we? You can't tell either way. That dress is so baggy. That's enough of that, Sally Boyle.
a beaker, a thermostat, and seven triode. I think I can fix my lab. Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be... It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. How have you been? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. Well... She's mellowed. Fiona says Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later. When she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... What happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly careful in there. If he knows I'm there, it'll get nasty fast.
Who's there? What's going on? What's that? This must be the bag Harry wanted. Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. Some source of oxygen and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. Why don't you come here? I'll go there. Ah, yes, but that doesn't solve your problem, does it? How can you enjoy... Harry? It's Sally! Uh, Sally Boyle! Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Ratome via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! That was nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. Morning. I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Have you got my chemical bag? Not quite yet. I had no idea you had to be so careful with chemicals. Give me another little while. What's your plan? Is that a new suit? It's fantastic. Have you got my chemical bag? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Have you got my bird feeder? Yeah. Yes! Yes, I have! Oddest looking bird feeder I've ever seen. Lovely day for it. Cheery bye! There you go. Careful with your, uh, chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the bag. Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. Then Gretel. Oh, what's wrong, dear? The girls are so beastly. And they tell such vile lies. Oh. How did you provoke them? How did I? You act superior and keep to yourself when because you're Because not... I don't sit around with them smoking and gossiping about boys and teachers. You spend all your time with the boys in Rocket Club. They'll probably think you're trying to poach their boyfriends. They don't even have boyfriends. Sally, dear, boys aren't your real friends. They're just after one thing. If you don't have girlfriends, you won't have any friends at all. Lovely weather. I half expect to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. Oh. 
Where do I get the key card to this? Your customer relations leave something to be desired. Aha! Uh -huh. I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Testing Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retrieved from the Garden District, September 12, 1964. Test negative for plague. Think we don't matter, just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. Stop, Dr. Verloc. Tommy King Mill drank your fucking test tube and he was a bloody dead mushroom farm by dawn. Everybody knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your... God! Bottoms up! God! No! something in case I need to run. You had this coming. What's this key card doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my half-full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. Right. Next ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. Hmm. I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. Lovely the old day. top shelf. Right. Do come again soon. Sally! Oh. You never come by anymore. Well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. Aye. Oh, she's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. 
Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite. <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh. Then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. It couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert. Shame I won't remember any of you. You do come here to forget. General? Robert? Are you still here? Please don't still be here. He'll forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. Found someone. Meet usual place. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mikey. You could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower. I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around... Well, intense like that, I just knew. That's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. Now, this ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen of White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of How him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the garden the district. The garden district? 
of the scraps of our former civilization. Oh God. I could help you. I do know General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there. Remembering. Look. It's a horrible, terrible world out there. And no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry, I'm very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old, and, and we've decided to, to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Would have mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right. I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in... The other end. Oh, <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. There you are. Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. No, it's in the will. We agreed. That was before you oh, kissed on the Sheraton sofa. The odious McLean sisters. Was Edmund. You put him up to it because it comes to me in the will. Serves you right. You knew I loved that sofa. Well, you can have it now. What will you trade me? For a pissed on sofa? You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands. You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you have lots of potpourri. It does whiff. I think you should pay me to clear it. It's your sofa. Or will be. It's Edmund's piss. Dollar. <laughs> Honor? Regina? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were... Gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not who are you? Who are you? Who? Anna! Regina! Help! This will only sting a little. <laughs> you deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. All right. I have my pituitary extract and my amalgam. 
I need to replace the safrole and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? The weird sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me. Maternity. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, oh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some, well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it, and then return. But about my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want, but first learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several? That's how it works, yes. All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon! Anon! Oh! Of course the lads are here. Mustn't let the birds go thinking they can do things by themselves. What the hell? Oh, little Gwen. Even though Mummy leaves you, I talk to you in my mind. There's so many things I want to tell you, so you don't make the same mistakes I did. You're not a bloody help, are you? Christ almighty! A man's home is his castle! Where do you have no witches here to thank you? Ye shall not suffer a wish to live! We will have no... Wolf! Wolf! Ah! Plywood and paper mesh! 
say? Plywood and paper mill! Wanker! Monster! There we go. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess, lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must, so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. I guess I should talk to the Weird Sisters again. Did you say the prayer? I sort of feel stronger, actually. I think I can actually carry a bit more. You can't prove it's magic, though. What if it's psychosomatic? So what if it is? You're still feeling stronger. I'd rather you talk me about herbs. I need them. For the drugs I have to make. Patience. You are close to the learning you seek. Our hinge has been occupied. The old stone circle. The wedding party stones. There's ancient power there. The sacred circle has been polluted. If you can clear it, then we'll teach you about the herbs you need. Well, that sounds sort of fun and righteous. Why not? Do you think it's sweet enough? Why don't you taste it? <laughs> Seriously, you won't die from just a smidge. It'll just make everything burn a little brighter, is all. Back at the house, we'll give everybody a huge cup of it. It doesn't hurt when we free our souls from their fleshy prisons, does it? I think your heart races for a bit, and then off we go to the ethereal flame. Huh? Why don't we use Hemlock? Like how Socrates killed himself. Hemlock doesn't hurt at all. My god. They're brewing poison. Because we already made two big batches of ditch snacks. Can you imagine if we came back to the Reverend Father with a big bowl of hemlock now? He'd laugh at us. He might not even let us come along on the sacred journey. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring then. All our questions will be answered once we're no longer in the prison of our bodies. That's what he said, right? It's some sort of suicide cult. I'm not going to let them poison a whole bunch of people. Who's going to clean? Now I've got to get rid of this poison. You poor dear. Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. Nothing much to fuss about, I guess. It's her! She's the murderer! They He's a downer! We're hard to get, are we? Don't worry. <laughs> We'll find no you, big guy won't we'll fix you up. You're here. I know you're here. I am the pitch. Not as invisible as you thought, are you? Don't eat bee meat. Don't eat it. They're not coming back. They're never coming back. It's time. A 
mother, a wise woman. The people there, they were wearing these sigils. Oh lord, the space god people. Ransom Mackenzie's congregation in Gardner House. They were making digital acts? In small amounts, it's a drug. More than that, it's a poison. You can make it from red foxglove seeds. We make all sorts of useful potions and things out of it. You could too. I think their reverend father is planning for the whole lot of them to kill themselves. I can think of a lot of reasons to kill yourself in the Garden District. But no one should have their death chosen for them. You know about my mum? I remember there was a terrible accident. Your mum put the wrong herbs in the family dinner. The whole family died except you. It was just before the train, so I always wondered. It wasn't an accident, was it? I think she didn't want my sisters to be scared. All alone in Germany. So she killed them. And I guess she didn't want Dad to hate her. So she killed him too. And she couldn't live with herself. I don't know why she left me behind. Here. This is the recipe for... Digital Axe? And something more? Mix it into their poison, and it should change from poison to... Mm, let's call it an eye-opener. You'll need Digital Axe for that, among other things. Come back, and I'll have the rest of what you need. You're making a sort of herbal blackberry joy, aren't you? You know your chemistry. I was on Harry Hayworth's team when we invented Joy. One day I hope the Goddess will forgive me for that. They've already started. I've got to get to the poison before they all take it. What was that? Don't think I won't sniff you out. That's what they're going to poison everyone with. If I've done this right, they'll realize the world is a lot bigger than the Garden District. Or something.
We're going to start handing out the cups now. Don't worry, there's enough for everyone. More than enough. But don't sip it, or you might feel sick for a bit. A little might make you queasy. A full cup and you won't feel a thing. You'll just wake up in a little while, feeling no pain, feeling no gravity, looking down at the earth from the pickup vehicle, and then you'll get to meet everybody up there. Hanze. Really beautiful, aren't they? They're like... God's hands. I've never noticed all the colours. Is this heaven? Life's so short, you know? This place is bad. It's a bad place. Why did you want us to die? Why? It's because you wanted to die, isn't it? You just wanted company. Let's get out of here. We're leaving. You can kill yourself if you like. Wait! Don't go! You'll miss the pickup vehicle! You'll all miss the pickup vehicle! You sick, dying bastard. What are you doing? These people are trying to get to a higher plane of existence. Are you mad? Or are you just a swindler who's convinced himself? I don't think I care. Prove it's not true. You can't. You might as well try to prove that God doesn't exist. I think Wellington Wells is a pretty good proof of that. Get out, meddler! Heathen! Sorry, pickup vehicle service on this line has been permanently suspended. You stopped them. How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are deaf. Here, the recipes you need to replace the Blackberry Joy. You'll need red owl butterflies. Opsiphanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Off I go to the train station, then to catch some butterflies. Scorch marks? Did somebody blow it up? I hope the butterfly survived. I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me. I'm not getting out that way. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I go anyway. Go to pretend you've never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids adapt. Oh, you can't understand what it's like, can you? For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. 
And you probably never will be, will you? <sighs> Hiding up there, are you? You think I can't climb in these heels? <sighs> You're so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. I wonder if caterpillars have any inkling what's going to happen to them. I wonder if they'd choose it. If they could. seen a lock like this before. I can't pick it. Maybe one of these bastards has a key. Satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence. This is brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. I better finish that batch of blackberry joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. To you. Good morning. Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. The lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Ho <laughs> ho Won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Um, the lads have, um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. S A B E D from the bonds of S I N. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hip hooray, amazing, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, 
six with son of John Say him another drunken bumsy That was wonderful. Thank you. There, lads. That should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesise her Blackberry on time next time. So we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. It's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be. That's exactly how Mummy feels. She's not allowed to show it to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I getting at cod liver oil? Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right oh, ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh... Like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. 
You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I really, really... It just, just came out. Go, get you that bottle. Meet you back here sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. I'm not sad. Uh, 
hope the general's not in one of his old oh, poor me moons. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle! We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I've a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. 
I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. It is here. The General's Bristol pilot. My god, if I could steal a boat... Does it work? Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. It don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Is it this way to the headquarters? Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. Who are you trying to fool? Mum? Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. Well, Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm... Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Who drinks that much whiskey? Brilliant. Now I... Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. Mrs. Pankhurst is a shop. How long has she had a shop? I shouldn't be surprised. Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. 
He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They're... It's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're going to kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Help me, they're gonna cook up my heart and eat it. Oh, well, you dear. think we should all eat it? Just cut it. Please, no, don't kill me! My God, they're gonna cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look, they're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the old no, one, please, whose no, names don't are kill secret me. and may not be said. Whispered in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear my cloak of shadow, ye shall assemble Save in me. some Save secret me. place. Please, fall to me. And with the blood ye shall nourish my roots. I am who I am. I need my heart, please! Help. But you who seek me, know my seeking and yearning shall avail thee not, unless you know the mystery. No, please! No, don't kill me! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any, and they tied me up! You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. You saved him. I wish I had. I love that lad. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a general's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines. Beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save Eddie, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver oil? Maybe he's got it. 
Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. The mark of Cain. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just that. see if he's there and see how things are going. Come from. That's the answer to everything. Kiriana, your questions about your life in Wellington World. Jack Worthing Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. You're a lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look. rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I would never anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. The two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. All right, I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Oh dear, all shuttered up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong, I was only dancing. I was watching from the stairs. James, you're everyone that ever came. Come on, I know you're oh, in there. Sweet James. Jesus, you have a way with Roger, it's Sally Boyle. She turned. Oh, Sally! What are you doing here? Roger! Roger, it's Sally Boyle! Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she alright? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James! She said she died in the explosion. 
Oh, fuck! She's right upstairs. Roger! Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. Disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Helped me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but... The make-believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song? That's my favourite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See... I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? I thought sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. I thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Why the hell did I leave it there? <sighs> now I remember. They wanted to carry me around in that car like I was some sort of conquering hero. I just wanted to get down on the ground. Clean forgot there was anything in that goddamn suitcase. Oi! Downer! Downer! What are you doing there? You're only making it harder on yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Say good night, Black Dog. Down it. Put that down. Better you than me. And here's Nick's keycard. Why do they make dresses with pockets, for Christ's sakes? Well, funky as ever. I'm not surprised the maid quit. It's probably down in his secret lair. How do we get down there? 
He had some sort of secret button, didn't he? Annoyed, aren't we? What's he been taking? If someone actually likes this record, aside from Nick, of course. I feel like a mule carrying all this, and just about as fast, too. my record. I have indeed. This is fantastic. I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing it. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass. Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. I've got a boat motor and a boat manual. Now all I need is the General's bloody key. He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. That's the old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? <sighs> I miss my calling. I should have been a secret agent. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. Almighty, he's set for the apocalypse, isn't he? Some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. Fucking a bucket. No. Oh. No. No. When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door. Not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen's safe. Oh, yes. I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Ah. 
food for a year? Vitamins, first aid? How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible! Vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her, or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let us stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. I think I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. I've got to take him down somehow. This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him... somehow. Oh, dizzy. I can make morpheline. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. And down he goes. you, Sally. Why do you have to be so damn difficult? Who else is going to give you what I can? Now I'll just have to turn on the fountain. Think you're doing? He 
he's got all my stuff in his office. I better get it back. You'll come to your senses. I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. How long was I in there? I've got to get back to Gwen. Lovely day for it! Lovely day for it. The neighbours think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that, after he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the General is going to be really fucking pissed off at I don't think he much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes! Isn't she adorable? Go! Oh. bucket. Okay, think, Sally. If he doesn't come back, they'll send more doctors. We can't stay here anymore, can we? I've got to move you someplace safe. you could dream about the countryside. When we were small, my sisters and I loved spending holidays at my grandmother's. I didn't realize it was so mum could spend a few days without having to worry about keeping everyone safe and alive. It does something to your head, being a mum. But you just go to sleep. It's going to be dark in here, darling, but when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while, all right? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city. And not upset any doctors, or any townsfolk carrying torches, or pitchforks, or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? Shh. It's almost over.
Let's just lower this into the water. They won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. I wonder if the latty got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? which was a lot. They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was a lot? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did... Did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to light my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But... Would have risen up. But, Ollie. Oh, my God. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. I lied my way off that train. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up, we'd have had to. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe. We'd have saved you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. How? The bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thing thingamajig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You, you were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. 
Take this to the Maiden Home Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maiden Home, I can get to Apple Home. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I... I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret! He has to. Margaret! Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. Wastrels. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! I guess we'll meet in hell. Where the hell are they getting explosives? I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. I think we might need to get out of here. Away and boil your heads, you weightless! Oh, you can't do it at a victory! Behind. Better get everything I can scavenge out of there. Careful, those people might still be here. Why the hell do I get out of here? The doors are blocked. We can't stay here. The roof's going to fall on our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy! Christ on toast!
forth and sin. <coughs> now I just need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Ah, bad choice of words, sorry. Won't sniff you out. It's tough. For God, for Harry and St. George. Say their fuse, right? Why private what's his name lie to us? Calm down, he's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll starve to death. They've captured one of the home army lads. I could signal somebody for the window. Then why don't you fuck off that ordinary house if you're worried about it? Explosives. Oh wait, they're missing something. No, I think they found it. I think they've stuck the fuse in. They're running away from it. You're going to break your legs, if you're very lucky. Well, I've always wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. If this doesn't work, I won't feel stupid for long. Trunks away! Margaret, wait for me! Those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. It doesn't matter. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. I feel surprisingly poorly for a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes. Don't you feel better? Maybe you could find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting. Thank you very much. Almost as sweet as you, Margaret. You're a real charmer, aren't you? You're a tough crowd, Meg. Not as invisible. <laughs> oh, what have we got here? All right, 
Now you can make one of those sugar hypodermics. Now don't forget to use it if you start feeling weak. But don't overdo it. It can really hurt you if you take too much. Wait a second. Why does this house look familiar? Because you've been passing it every week for a decade. What? It's vague because you were drunk. No one likes a nag, Margaret. Please don't. There's some would say property is theft. One seller where? Don't worry, I'm coming to get you. Wait, wait. Is that Ollie Starkey? Never mind then. You don't want me to rescue you? You'll only make it worse. Somehow. Sorry, laddie. I need your help. All rotting. Like the food. See if I don't. Struggle, you'll hurt your neck. I made a doll of Mum. It's very like her. Is it? I wasn't sure. She was a tad taller. It's a doll. She was taller. That's not very funny. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. You miss her. I guess. It's just... how everything is now. Nothing's the same. The way things were doesn't even seem real. I sort of miss it, and I sort of... It doesn't seem real. You have too much wisdom at your age. It's hardly fair. I got to be a complete numpty until I was 30. <laughs> what are you smiling for? Find somewhere else to <coughs> Our own wee bannock burn. I found a loose bullet down in the mud the other day. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think you deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserting? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The cherries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. But well, he won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. If you can't find something to do, I'll find something for you. It's not my turn. I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. Try it again, and I'll kill ya. They're blowing up the distillery? In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick.
There's no such thing as ghosts. Attention. Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. Get out, bastard! Ah! <laughs> They're back! Come back for another meeting! Go back to Germany, you swine! For God, for Harry and St. George. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm going to have to blow a hole in it. Well, where are you going to get explosives? Easy. From the military camp. But we can't get into the military camp. Well, what about the distillery? They're going to blow it up. Right. You're always right. I wonder if they've blown it up yet. Lay still, you bastard! We all get what's coming to us. In the end. Oh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I suppose now we just wait until someone comes by with a pack full of plastic. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him. What's he ever done for me? Well, he might be the man with the explosives. You're right. You're always right. Let's see what his problem is. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus. Thank God you're here. I think they draw to the plastic. Wait. Ollie's darky. Eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueies. It's Baden Powell. We were in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you going to help me out? Are you going to help me out here, Starkey? No! There you Our own wee bannock burn. Well, this'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Baden Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Nil nice I bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day, studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? A dud bomb? Don't you like to extract the TNT from them? I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Now, well, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence.
Weren't you supposed to be at work? I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit? I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The General? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait, how can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I, I just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? I'll give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl. So, that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. Ah, fond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Go forth and sin no more. Attention all personnel. It is time to paint the tacks again. If your feet are sore from marching all day, take a break and join the painters next Monday. Any volunteers will be excused from marching. Donald! Ollie? What possessed you to come here? Here. I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Ollie! Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? Right, oh, sir. I'm not sad. It's chafing, is all. Who's on guard duty? There's a. <laughs> The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp! Paper mashy! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946. Before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war? You can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Well, why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. 
You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Huh? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? Alas, Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, I hope in. Do you remember my meat pounder that I lent you two years ago and you lost it smashing some televisions? That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face, damn collaborator. Traitor! Now, you bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five! Quiet! You want them to hear you? Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up! I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starkey in that cart, are ya? I don't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap, all off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner. Or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. Observe how the concrete is used for its raw and unpretentious honesty, contrasting with the pretentious ornamentality of the Victorian buildings of the day. Rather than hiding the structure, the sides preserve the shape of the image. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Now, try.
try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Hello. Would you like to donate to our Uncle Jack charity drive? On your trolley, you huffy wee fuck bumper! Ollie! Oh, my goodness. You're Ollie Starkey. It's Ollie Starkey! Fuck the lot of you! Jack's a collaborator and a traitor! Wet blanket! Down up! Get! Take your draw! Time for tea! Time for... Keep calm! Cheer up! Let this be a lesson to you then. Ollie, I didn't ask you here, did I? If you take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Help! There's a downer in my... Ah! 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 Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind, terribly, bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything, just please. Give me my joy! I need my joy. Why won't you give me 
My joy. Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You... Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Dear Mr. Birthwhistle, thank you so much for your suggestion. May I suggest you spend a little more time pondering your work, and less time pondering where you do it? That sounds like her, all right. Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> It's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Hello? It's Beatrice Dalrymple. From the executive committee? I'm so sorry. Something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. Is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit-chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie. So they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye. I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. I'll throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yoghurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yoghurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right. 
coffee yogurt. What is yogurt exactly? It's fermented milk. Like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. Milk. A bit of sugar makes everything. So, she's got coffee while the rest of us are drinking toasted chicory. Well, that's coffee yoghurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite alright. Sleepy tight. Nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you'd better give her that yoghurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, father. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty, and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Counting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air. Open the door. <laughs> I'm suffocating. <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. Just let me point them in the right direction. I'm afraid 
She's been gone from the office for some time. Good luck. Why do I feel like a squealer? Off you go. I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naysmith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. I think he's getting upset. Ollie, you better talk to him. Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. No! Come right in! Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing ah. back to the closet. The children won't stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, nah, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh. People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry! Find them! <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Ow! But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. Right. No more with the nice guy. Black dog. Stop in the name of the law. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Should clear up soon, I think. I'm terribly sorry, sir. The Executive Committee have decided to close the parade of visitors for duration. Duration of what? They neglected to specify, sir. But I have been specifically informed that it is unrelated to the dispersion of plague. So, you may put your mind at ease in that regard. Then how the fuck am I supposed to get to the parade, you bell-headed turd? Perhaps you can dig a tunnel, sir. Good luck! For fuck's sake! It wasn't helping me anyways. Aren't there already tunnels? For the train tracks, oh sure, but there's no way past the hatch on the other side. Believe me, I've tried. Then how does the Motlin get to the village from the mines on Appleholm? You're right, there must be tunnels. I've no idea where. Do I have to spell it out for you? Dr. Faraday! Oh, yes, she designed the Motlin flow system. Oh, she's got to have the blueprints for the Motlin tunnels. Bravo, Ollie. One day you won't need me anymore. Don't you start talking nonsense, lassie. <laughs> I'll go see Dr. Faraday. So the parade's locked up tighter than a vicar's bumhole. Lovely. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Careful. You know how there's all that joy gas in there? It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. And people take joy on purpose. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Take a flying fuck at the moon! Wait, I didn't say Simon says. There's no one here but us ravens. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Yeah. Simon Says, step on two platforms. Simon Says, go drown yourself in the river! Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. Ha 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 ha! I didn't say Simon Says. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, funny, you white sting! Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Acton and Max Snell, you bloody charlatan. You're the first wee dick that's ever made me long for the real Jack! Be sure to enjoy your day! Trista would have never even brought this up while I married her. You know! We all get what's coming to us in the end. You will take your joy immediately. You will take your joy immediately.
take your joy in need. Thank God! We've been cooped up there forever! Absence makes the heart grow fonder, but there's been an absence of absence, I'm afraid. James! We don't have to air our dirty laundry to every stranger that passes by. If you do the wash, we wouldn't have some... Anyway, this is Ollie Starkey. Who's he when he's at home? We serve together at Ramsgate. Oh, Ramsgate. Sorry to intrude. Jealousy doesn't look good on you, Roger. You wouldn't happen to ken the whereabouts of Dr. Faraday? Not actually sure. She was always talking about making a portal in the universe. It sounds ridiculous, but, 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 but Roger says... Well, we're a little worried she succeeded. Don't tell anyone. If she has gone for good, we're out of work. I was sort of hoping... Well, she designed the motoring pipes under the city, didn't she? Oh, yes. That was one of the first things she did on her own. After Mr. Faraday went on holiday. You're not going down into those tunnels, are you? It's like tangled hair down there. You know... Like what's in the shower drain because certain people don't clean it? I was hoping there might be, uh, blueprints. There must be, but the place is such a mess and she blew it up. The bobbies won't even let us downstairs to water the plants. If Dr. F comes back and they're all dead, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that's too bad. Ollie, they want you to do it. Well then why didn't they... I could water them for you. Oh, would you? We could try and dig up your plans while you do. Once again, the heroes of Ramsgate save the nation. <clears throat> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll make a gardener of you yet. We found your blueprints. Brilliant. Give us a look then. The thing is, we need someone to pollinate the flowers down there. Pollinate? Is your bum out the window? You can't expect a soldier to know about flowers, James. Well, we can't go down there, can we? It's my bee cannon. It's her bee cannon? Well, she made it for me. I thought you were worried about pollinating the plants. All right, fine. Here's the bee cannon. You'll love it. It's got cannon in its name. What am I to do with that? Just find some bees, suck them up, go to the flowers, spit them out. I'll do my best. Bees. There's no bloody bees in the village. Ah, oh, damn it, it's back to the garden district, isn't it? They're the only ones around here clever enough to plan for winter, and now they're pretty much fucked. For Father Nature. <laughs> Didn't you think that was funny? Crickets. Bloody crickets. Maybe they found your blueprints by now. You will take your joy immediately. Well, look at that. There's a tunnel, but it's, um... It's a bit dark. It's under the Uncle Jack fan club. They don't like you very much. Why? We have a sort of disagreement about whether Uncle Jack's a very fine, funny fellow, 
What a rotten, murdering, collaborationist traitor. So that's why you smash all the televisions. Roger! Manners! Have you got an escape plan? For after you talk to the executive committee? Why would I need an escape plan? I'm just going to tell the executive committee what's going on in the village. They're not going to shoot the messenger, are they? Then I'll just go back to my... Home in the train station. How would I escape, anyway? Oh, I know. The parade float. It'd be ridiculous, Roger. What are you talking about? The Uncle Jack fan club. They bring a giant balloon to the Battle of Flowers parade every year. It's enormous. It's supposed to be his head. Well, that could carry you away to... Well, wherever the winds take you. I suppose if I'm in the club anyway, I might as well grab the float. If nothing else, no one will have to look at Jack's head floating across the village on May Day. You will need quite a lot of helium to fill it. Oh, I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Look, empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label, DSIR, the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. What well, you know, in all quite labs. In the parade? You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? All oh, right, I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack. The Uncle Jack Fan Club. I suppose they can't remember what he did during the war. What did he do? Voice of the Occupation Authority on the radio, wasn't he? You can't go in. It's a private club. Toffs and wankers only. Then who are you? I'm the fucking cook, ain't I? Don't look at me like that. A girl's got to eat. Look, why don't you just fuck off? You ain't got any honest business in here. From the looks of you, you ain't got any honest business anywhere. <sighs> Bunch of daft twats. Everything's they say you see the oddest roses. shadows in the street at night. I never look. Take the job, she says. You never have to suck another cop, she says. Where did you go? You have an Asian day, have you? I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers, aren't you? Hey, what are you doing there? You won't get away. Come out, come out, wherever you are. He did it! I knew it! For God, for Harry and St. George. She looks familiar. And now it's time for famous Ripples. How on earth did he get to be Uncle Jack? Everybody likes him, except you. Have they forgotten what he did? People are forgetting a lot of things now. Oh, I suppose they don't even know what he did to you. But how did they forget who it was on the German radio every night during the occupation? They locked him up after the victory. People don't talk about the past anymore. When did they let him out? You've forgotten things too, you know. I bet it's all up there. Aren't you the clever one? They don't need a cook. They need a... Where's the bloody parade balloon? You could hide the Tsar and all his relations up here, and no one's the wiser. Time to get the float out of here. Ollie! I said float. What did you think I said? We didn't come here for the float. We came here to get into the Motteline tunnels. Someone How did there. you gang out of here? Don't make a habit of that, all right? 
When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You want me to go up the chimney? Like Santa Claus after he's eaten up all the biscuits? Didn't you read the plans? There's a secret passage and a hatch. There's a hatch here. I hope it really does go to the tunnel to Apple Home. We haven't been in the parade in a while, have we, Margaret? I hope the executive committee listens. I hope they're willing to tell people the truth. Don't forget to get some hydrogen for your float, in case it doesn't go well in the broadcast tower. I hope you're wrong, Margaret. No one seems to live here anymore. Might be a good place to camp out. What happened here? You better stay away from him. He's about to go. Hey! <laughs> questions. Here. doing in my playhouse? Margaret. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? Oh, look at all the pretty clothes. Someone there? Another Bring bloody in. document Bring control. In. How much we learned from the Germans. It's open, Ollie. Can't you just not look at the telly? No, I can't just not look at the telly. They put one in every bloody corner. I'll tell you what I can do. I can blow up the bloody broadcast antenna at City Hall. That is the worst idea I've ever heard from you. What do you know? You're dead. Huh? I haven't got an answer for that, have you? Margaret! Margaret! Ah. Looks like a plague whistle did a number on this. Ah! The Department of Senseless Idiotic Research. If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bampots. If not, I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. Where do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? My god! Thief! Down up! I see you! You're coming with me! There's my hydrogen. Now, I just need to walk out the door and... We have an intruder! I'm shutting all the doors! Ah, for fuck's sake! How do I get out now? Uh, up 
here, Ollie. I think you can open up the doors from the office. Well, how the hell do I do that? I can't even fly up there, can I? Oh, wait, the cannon. Just need to make sure it's facing the tower and wind it up. That's a terrible idea. Stop it! And now I just get in. I hope this doesn't tear off any bits you'll miss later. Why didn't you mention that before? Still got all my pets. They just hurt extraordinarily much. There Who needs are. trains and planes? We ought to have sent the mail by cannon. All right. All right. I I've opened the door. Now, please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm going to have the worst headache for the rest of the week. Allow me to cheer you up! Huh? You won't get away with me! I won't let you bring me down! Look at that! They've got blood all over them! The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now. The elevators must be up these stairs. In Wellington Wells. The weather is... Oh, I don't think I want to try to get past Headmistress while she's on the job. I better shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? I need to get upstairs to see the executive committee. They're busy too, I should think. Why don't you ask somebody else? Sorry, ma'am. I need to get upstairs. You'll have to ask someone who has time on her hands. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. How did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. Why, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? My, oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her, didn't you? Why? It was a sad. What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. Can't help it if I don't remember.
There we go. And up I go. Happened here. The food production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Mm. Mm. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So. There's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. The tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here. Let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang? That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hearken to the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Hello! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Here's Ollie! Hello! Time to pay the piper, Jack. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! He can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack! last show. How'd you ken that? The camera smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Play it. No! I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. I had it right here. Uh, do you know, there are times that you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Mm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world. All knitted in wool. It's his last it's show. How'd oh, you ken that? Yes, the camera's gone. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret. Yeah. Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen. Do drop by to Dee Dee's fabulous dolls at Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them, from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumour that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavour of joy. Jesus. It 
think a child of your daughter would be over dolls. His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I, I mean... God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. I couldn't imagine living without her, so... So I hid her. And someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. Food's run my... Neighbour. I was your neighbour. How could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. But Jack's your father. Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. You all have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. It's not going away. Cut the power! The bastards! There's an emergency... one of those really power thingy-mobs. You're on air! Someone's coming through the popper! Look what there's not going away! Go forth and sin no more. Ah! 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 Away. More of them. Oh, what ah! 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 We're running out of power. Ah! The Bobby Popper. More of them. Ah! Ah! Come to the end of our time. Ah! Someone's coming through the Popper. Ah! We're all going to stop. You do that around here. Stop! In the name of the law! I'll fix you! No, down you here! That. Let this be a lesson to you then. Someone's coming through the popper! For God, for Harry, and St. George. You have to stop. You all have to stop. Stop. Stop it. But you won't, will you? You won't. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. We're running out of power. We've got to the end of our time. 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 We've got to the end of our time.
come to the end of our time. I guess walking out the front door is out of the question. Good thing I made you get that float. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's always Starky! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it. It's a fucking terrible day for it. Lovely day for fucking war anyways. Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm going home! I wonder what's left of Scotland. You all right, sir? I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The booze run out. You have to stop taking your joy. Perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget? And go back? I was happy before. Wasn't I? Are you really a constable? I. Patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it! I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. It has been rather a shit day. <laughs> <laughs> 